welcome back Brawler Nice to another tutorial video. Before we begin, like, subscribe, hit the notification button and help this channel grow. And this is part three, so part one and part two, it's well, links down below if you have not checked out. And of course, let's gonna take a little look about the items at hand for blockchain brawlers. We have five different rarities and five different stats for it. And the question is, which is better for your brawler? Is it the brass knuckle or is it the legendary steel chair? Okay, let's check out the five rarity items available in blockchain brawlers, starting off with brass knuckle costing 5 gold, 400 brawl, trash can, 7 gold, 750 brawl, sludge hammer, or sledge. I call it, uh, yikes, sledge. Sledge hammer, come on, pronunciation. 10 gold and 10,000 brawl, baseball bat, and uh, you call it spike bat, right? Anyway, 14 gold and 14,000 brawls, and of course, the awesome steel chair at 18 gold and 18,000 brawl. Okay, now the golden question is what about the stats for the item since we now don't know the cost? Sadly, we cannot see this little chart in the game, which makes it a little bit redundant, right? You know what? I'm going to put the chart up here. Let's see. Okay, looking at the chart here right now, we can easily see that the brass knuckle has the lowest brawl generation, or in this case, multiplier, and the highest gold chance. In this case, it's stack, or it's, uh, it's on top, plus, positive, additive. It's, it's, it's a very weird formula, but you know what? I love it. I love that formula because right now, I think Scotty White Eye is at 7%. If you add in the brass knuckle, it goes up to 11%. So that's four. So I think it correlates to the four bar, So which is great. Now, I have not done my calculation thoroughly yet, but it seems it, it is additive. And of course, the steel chair has the highest brawl multiplier, but the, I'm not saying but, but has zero gold multiplier additive, basically zero gold chance on top of what you have for the brawler, which makes it, um, it's a brawl, what do you call this? Brawl generator? Uh, if, if you want something with a little bit of gold chance, baseball bat is your best bet. And this is the part where we're going to go to the nitty gritty calculation. Okay, looking at Scotty White Eye, we know that we can earn 20 brawl net post heal per match and a 7% gold drop rate. And by equipping brass knuckle, easily we go up to 35 brawl and 11% gold chance, which is a multiplier of 1.75 for the brawl and 4% for the gold drop rate, which is impressive because if you look at trash can, 2% for the gold, uh, sledgehammer, 1%. Baseball bat, 1%, and of course, the steel chair, 0%, as the chart says. So each bar is 1%. Okay, that's great. That's good. Now, however, the brawl multiplier, it's a little bit different because brass knuckle, 1.75, trash can, 2.25, sludge hammer is 3, baseball bat is 4, and steel chair is 5. A very interesting gap in between because... The moment you equip BK, all right, I'm gonna call make it shorter. It gains a 0.75 percent. Uh, sorry, percent 0.75 multiplier, which is 75 percent more, which is great. And then for the trash can, we're gonna move up the tier. So brass knuckle to trash can, you only gain uh, 50, 0.5, 50 percent extra. That's not that great, right? And then of course, when we go to Sludge Hammer, it is three, so we get another 75, I mean 75%, and then after that is 1%, yeah, one, one, 0 0.7, yeah, cool. So in this case, you say, hey, you know what? Look at all the numbers. Obviously, you would say, going for the steel chair is the best bet, right? The answer is yes, but the problem is when it comes to the crafting cost, so this is the part where it comes a little bit tricky to gauge which is the best item because after brass knuckle, personally brass knuckle is the best for Scotty White Eye, hands down. If, you're, if, you don't have equi uh, if you don't have a BK equip on your Scotty, please do so. It, you gain a tremendous amount of um, income in my opinion, right? 
In fact, yes, gold bar will drop more than usual tested. And currently it's sitting fairly there. I mean, lower than the percentage that I expected to get, but it is there. So here comes the next fun part. The question is, which item to craft for my Scotty White Eye if I do not want to craft a brass knuckle? I want maximum gold output. Should I craft a steel chair? This is a little tricky because we need to factor in the overhead cost for the steel chair. Do note that the brass knuckle only costs 4,000 brawl and 5 gold, whereas the steel chair is 18 gold and 18,000 brawl. And here are the numbers and my goodness, it is quite interesting because after we minus our overhead cost per item, yeah, our net brawl is a little bit rubbish, especially on the trash can and the sludge hammer, in my opinion. Brass knuckle, some people say, hey, even though it has minus one, it's still negative profit, but plus 4% gold, that would theoretically, in my opinion, is the best offset. Because if you look at sludge hammer, right, no difference, but plus one. And in my opinion, I, I would I would take the plus four percent. That's that's a no that's a no brainer in my opinion, no brainer. Now the problem comes to the next part, which is the baseball bat and the steel chair, with only plus four and plus eight respectively. It is tough to justify their cost because I could just easily craft another Scotty White Eye plus a brass knuckle and get more gold. Okay, after looking at all these numbers, it's easy to say that Scotty White Eye plus brass knuckle is the way to go. And some of you might be asking, hey, so if that's the case, would the numbers be the same on other brawlers? Then that's a good question, my friend, because we're gonna do this in part four. That's right, I'm gonna keep this well, tutorial as short as I can, basically establishing all these perimeters and numbers. And in the next part, we're gonna just look at all the brawlers and find the best efficient, I wanna say efficient, yeah. We're gonna get the best, as in the maximum possible yield. And of course, we want to get value yield as well. So we gotta have two. So in this case, for Scotty White Eye, there's only one value and best, which is brass knuckle. If I really, really want to recommend the next best thing, most likely is a steel chair, but the way I see it, the, the cost to the steel chair, it's, it's not very good on Scotty. That's, that's how it is. So the best and most optimized, uh, yeah, optimized and efficient is the brass knuckle for Scotty White Eye. Now, the next question, I'm not saying next question, the next part is a little bit tricky for me, so do bear, I mean, do bear for a while. I'm trying to get a very interesting calculation for the equipment gears, I mean, the gear, gear score, <laughs> basically gear score. I'm trying to work on a little bit of math and see how it's gonna be relatable and scalable. If it does, then it'll be fantastic. If, it not, if it's not, then it, it is, well, that's all I can do, right? All right, that's all I have for you for part three, getting to know your gears. If you like it, like, subscribe, hit the notification button and help this channel grow. If you don't like it and you think my presentation needs working, let me know down in the comments below as well. And we're gonna look at part four with all the remaining brawlers, more number crunching. And of course, we want to see which is the best gear for which brawler. Most likely a lot of people like to go for the steel chair, right? Maximum brawl. And in this case, I like gold. So Scotty White Eye and Brass Knuckle. That's the way to go. Yep. Yep, 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 yep.